Calvin, the social realtor. I've known Thomas for a bit now. We've met at a pizza shop. He provides sauces to that pizza shop. Now we've been friends for a while and I'm yeah. gonna show you some of uh, his stuff today. So my name is Thomas Sharp. I'm the CEO of Sharp Foods. We have an amazing brand of Canadian products that range from all different levels of heat and flavor. Like he said, I met him at Rocco's Pizza. I supplied a Rocco's Pizza, 905 Kitchen, J Red & Co. Mikey's Bistro and a few other grocery stores. So what we did is we created a different era of hot sauces. I'm talking pina colada, blueberry bomb hot sauce, citrus hot sauce. We have cherry hot sauce, which is my wife's brand. We have regular hot sauce, scotch bonnet hot sauce, followed by an all around dry rub that you can put on all types of meats, corn on the cob, vegetables, rice. And then we have the famous sweet chipotle sauce. And so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna try them for you and maybe we'll see how hot the hottest one really is. Oh, we got the idea you hear in the background for the grand finale here. Okay, so let's roll. So let's start with the sweet chipotle sauce. If you want to grab a couple of chips there. This is the least hot. This right? is no heat at all. It's a sweet chipotle. It's good for all types of sandwiches. My mother-in-law, she does it for veggie dip. We put on chick. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we put it on chicken cutlet with some banana peppers. We do egg wraps in the morning. So what we did is we created a sweet chipotle sauce. A chipotle usually has a smoky taste with a little bit of jalapeno. So what I did is I created my own brand like this so I can I can accommodate both customers. So people that like this, if they want it spicy with that jalapeno, I created a hot sauce with a jalapeno chili pepper that you can mix with it and now you got both. Like accommodate chemist both. at that point. Pro use your own products to create more product. So now we have a pina colada hot sauce with white ghost pepper, very rare, very light heat. Give it a go. Pina colada, man. Like when I saw it, I was curious. Oh, wow. What do you think of that? And a little tingle at the end, right? Yes! But just enough heat, so I gotta control it. When you taste it, you taste pina colada, you taste pineapple, coconut, you taste the sweetness, and then slowly a little bit of that little tingle. Great on shrimp, great on fish. Uh, we, sure, put it, yeah. we put this in coleslaw. You wanna take a second bite, right? You wanna take a second, third bite. So now, this is our new creation, blueberry bomb hot sauce. The logos and labels are being created as we speak right now. We use this on cream cheese, we use it on ice cream, waffles, pancakes. I'm Where's the waffles, you. man? Where's the ice cream? <laughs> It goes on waffles, man, and ice cream. It's and, and, and it's just enough, to, it's not hot enough. You taste the blueberry, a little bit of heat, but you imagine you put something sweet or cold with it. It's getting hotter, I'm it, not gonna lie. It's getting hotter. But you, because you're trying everything straight on. So why, I'm, why we're doing it this way is because we want to try it straight on so you can actually taste exactly what's in the sauce. The it's actual flavor, flavor of the of the peppers, all that stuff. But once you combine it to certain foods, it's different, right? The heat levels move around. Give that a go. I can see that with waffles. Oh yeah, brother. And, and you mix some syrup, so make it a little sweeter. Put some butter on it. Oh wow, that's really good. <laughs> and it's just enough heat, like I've the heat. Never taste anything like You'll that. never taste anything like this. So this is my favorite. This is Dad's signature hot sauce. I created this product for a year and a half. I never sold it to nobody. I made sure not even my family touched this. We make this with oranges, a lemon lime non-alcoholic margarita mix is my water content. Taste that. It's really good. <laughs> good. Wow. Right? It's and see, so unique. so unique. And also, I want to let you know that the peppers in here, they're not their average peppers. Everybody gets jalapenos, chili peppers, scotch bonnets. Those are the average peppers in the market. These are called Cleo Dragon peppers, one of the rarest peppers in the world. The pepper is a fruity acidity taste. It's like nothing other. I've never tasted it in my life. Get an eye, you're So now we move into a little bit of the hotter sauces, okay? So now we're moving this into wasn't cher the hotter. cherry. We're going to. Regular hot sauce and then some scotch bonnet and then the idea you. So what we're gonna do, since you did, we're gonna mix it up a bit. We're gonna give you a little bit of the rub. The rub is a sweet rub with brown sugar, cumin, garlic powder, stuff like that. It's good for all types of poultry. Bro, what kind of brisket. level are we at right now? So we're like at, we're gonna do like one to 10. Where were we're, we and where are we going? So we're going, my, this is mild. <laughs> Now we're going medium to hot. So let's break up the flavors a bit. Grab a chip here. Put some of this on here, some rub. Corn on the cob is one of my favorite with this. When you're spreading this on, the brown sugar caramelizes your food, right? They mm -hmm. give that nice brown crust, that sweetness. I like that it's still very savory. So oh. if you want to add salt, you can add salt, but there's no salt in here. So now we're getting into cherry hot sauce. We have a we have a cherry hot sauce, we have a peach hot sauce, and we have a pretty rose. And those are the brand I created for my wife. So let's get into those. You're gonna taste nice cherry sweet flavor, but the heat's gonna kick up a little bit. We got some drinks on standby. So what do you think of that? That's a nice sweet sauce. Nice sweet. 
Here comes the heat. <laughs> <laughs> so everything I created, I want you guys to know that you always taste flavor first. Anything pina colada, cherry, blueberry, citrus, anything that I make, it will be that. I yeah. have a tropical, you'll taste a pineapple mango, the heat will come after. Never will my heat overpower my flavor of my food. Yeah, it comes and that's something new that we want to create. Cherries are hitting hard now. We got cherries and we're in the Born Wing and Vaughn and the Born Wing here in Brampton. They took on cherry and pina colada for their wings right now and it's been moving very well. We're doing ribs, we're doing cherry hot wings. It's a new era, man, something different and the flavor is phenomenal. So now we get into the regular. This is what started the business, regular hot sauce. This and these products is what started this. First trade show, 75 bottles sold out. It's what made me create my future product and all the surveys from all those great customers. Thank you very much. So there's the heat but flavor. And I want you to tell me what you taste when you taste it. Okay. Not just the heat, but I want you to tell me what you taste. What kind of peppers do you taste? What, what, do you taste onions? Do you taste garlic? Do you taste the, what type of peppers in here? You taste the jalapeno. Oh, no. You taste you the chili taste pepper. Like one at a time. You can taste it one at a time. It all has to be balanced. There has to be enough of everything so you taste all of that because if anything is more than another, yeah. it will ruin it. If you have too much jalapeno, taste the jalapeno over the chili peppers, too much vinegar and sodium, you will ruin the taste of the flavor of the pepper and what's inside of it. So balance is key, guys. Just to let you guys know out there, anything that you do, balance is key. That's great, bro. Uh, I feel it now. Way to tie it in. You guys want to have a little drink? Wash on the palate a little bit, switch it up. And now we're going to get a little hotter. Hey, but I'm not at a point yet where I'm... Right, so that's what I'm saying. Gasping, you know? You're like, gasping. I'm so, still enjoying it. Exactly. So that's what I say. Every time I'm at a show, I always say, I want you to enjoy it and take a second or third bite. So when you eat these products, will you take a second or third bite of it? It's not like, oh, it's too hot. I don't want it. It ruined my food. We don't want it. They're like, give me the sauce. I want to put more on it. Right? And that's what we're doing, right? We want to elevate the food that's already been good. We want to just make it a little bit better. So now we get into the Scotch Bonnets, our number one seller. These are all organic peppers. They're all vegan, gluten free, no all made in Canada. No artificial flavor, no artificial color. Okay. Okay. I'm going to eat one with you guys. That's for you. Cheers. 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 A little bit it's hotter. great. That was a little faster. A little, that's what happens. This is, this is what comes now. When you get into hot sauce, the flavor is there, but the heat comes faster now. Not okay. gonna lie, I kind of like bypassed it by eating it on the side. And then a little bit came to the tongue and I got oh, yeah. the taste there. I cheated I a little hate. bit. And I know. The other one? Been, <laughs> it would have been bad. No, no, no. That's it. So this is a pretty rosé sauce. We do it on all types of pastas, veal sandwiches, chicken cutlets. Okay, now, okay. so what you can do here, you can grab one of these and just dip it in there. Don't be shy. And when you get a nice little flavor there. Now, what do you think of that? So I that, know, like me and Jay are gonna be walking out with some bottles right now. Yeah, man. that's called a pretty rosé sauce. Put that on anything. Put that on anything. Thank nice you. and savory. It's smooth. It's not too tangy. Right. It cools off. Cools everything off. Right so when I met this guy, man, I was so happy to. Oh, yeah, He's me such too, such a vibrant man. guy. You too, man. Your energy, your punctuality, meeting you and your wife and your kids, you were just like that. And you were very pinpoint on certain things, and I like that. I like good criticism and bad criticism. Oh, yeah, the I first like thing it. I messaged was like, oh, it could have been better. It could have been this, this, and it's like, you know, I know this already, you know what I mean? But see, that's the difference between someone that takes passion and pride into what they do and yeah, someone yeah. that just needs to go get a check. The customer service, great relationship in this world. It's a big key, man. Now, if you guys want to get into the serious things, this here right here is the I Dare You Hot Sauce. Wait, I Dare You? Like yeah, it's I Dare You Hot Sauce. Oh, I'm not trying I Dare You Hot Sauce. By okay. The way. No way. I create this product with three hottest peppers in the world. Carolina Reaper, Scorpion, Trinidad, Morago Scorpion, and the famous Ghost Pepper. We're talking 3 million Scoville units. So I make it suitable to fit a lot of customers. So this one's a custom made. As you can see, it's thick like a paste. We take all the water contents out of it. So anything that's making it less hot has been gone. Yeah, th this <laughs> is going to overpower these by... by uh... You're not giving that to me. You got to try it, man. We all yeah. got to go. Only because we're good friends, man. Only because we're good friends. But we may friends. not be good friends after this. After this. This. <laughs> this is just enough to get it right. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Woo! <laughs> here it comes. It's hot, Matt. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to start flying out of here. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Little smokes, you got that little smoky flavor from the hey, ghost. But I'm not like dying the scorpion. For a drink. You're not, but hot. great flavor. And it was only a tad on there, right? Now Table. I'm reaching for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> and so you got the smokiness from the ghost pepper, you got that little zing from the scorpion, and you also have that heat level from that reaper. Really flavorful, but this accommodates a smaller marker for those hot sauce lovers that really love that punch. This is it right here. That wow. Is, that is a lot of flavor. I will say, a lot of the hot sauces that I've tried, 
It's just hot, not flavor. That's right. When I create this product, I cook everything down. A lot of people don't cook things down. So what they do is they throw everything in a blender, boom, 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 and they create it, which is good, but it defeats the flavor. When I cook everything down, I break the flavors of the onions, the garlic, the peppers, everything, when I break it down. Then when I blend it, right at the end, that's when I add a little bit of sugar and vinegar when it cools down. When you add vinegar and sodium too early, you burn away the vinegar. So now they taste it, or they're like, ah, I need more vinegar, and they keep adding to it. So that's one trick, guys, that you can use out there. So I'm the true hot sauce king. I'm bringing a new era of hot sauces and flavors and different sauces to this world, and I hope you all can try that. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having me, man. Oh, thank you so much. My Appreciate bro, man. Appreciate Check it. him out, Thomas Sharp, Sharp Foods. Dossier. He'll be everywhere. Yeah. Trust me, 2019, crazy things coming.